Hey home brewers, today we're going to take a look at some products that's going to make your bottling day a heck of a lot easier. Everybody knows bottling is a pain in the ass, but it's something that we have to do before making the step up to kegging. So the first product I want to show you is called the Monster Cleaner. It's this guy here. And what you want to do is grab some no rinse sanitizer. I'm using Star Sand. Fill it up, you know, about a third of the way. And then you take your bottle, could be wine or beer. I'll use the wine one since it's clear. You plunge it down and there you go. Shoot sanitizer all over the inside of your bottle in a matter of seconds. And then another product you combine this with is a bottle tree. Look at the so size of this, it doesn't even fit. You shoot in your sanitizer. It's not even big enough. And then you just put it on one of these posts and let it drip dry. And this works for wine or beer bottles. So we've got our beer bottle here, same idea. So it's just a nice, easy, quick way that's not too expensive to speed up that part of the process. The next item I wanna show you is simply called a bottle washer. You hook this up to your faucet, put your bottle on, and it'll shoot a concentrated spray up rinsing your bottle. Let me see if I could hook this up so we can see it in action. So usually you would connect this directly to your faucet I don't have one available right now, so I just have it hooked up to a garden hose, but it'll serve our demonstration. So I have the water on, then look at that. It'll just blast any crud or whatever right out of your bottles. It also works obviously for beer bottles and even carboys. I used to use them all the time for carboys and other fermenters just to get the gunk uh, at the bottom after fermentation out nice and easy. The next product we're going to look at is simply an auto siphon. I'm still amazed that a lot of people don't know this exists. This is useful for transferring liquids. You don't need to use the old style J tubes where you're putting that into your fermenter and sucking on the end. Uh, we do not need to do that anymore, thankfully. So at the same time, I'm going to show you a bottling bucket. So first I'll just show you how easy it is to transfer from one vessel to the other. Just put it in there. Prime it with a couple pumps, and there you go. Right now I'm just transferring water, but obviously this would work for beer or wine. The other nice thing with these is you can get yourself a bottle filler if you do not have a bottling bucket, okay? And let's say you're in the secondary, you wanna transfer into some bottles, uh, you would just put this in your bottle you know, start your siphon and you can fill your bottles from there. Once you remove this, there's a tongue. It'll stop the beer or wine from flowing. Once it's pushed in again, when it reaches the bottom of your bottle, it'll start up. Next up is a bottling bucket. They're very cheap and they'll make your bottling day way easier. What I like to do is boil, you know, a cup of water on my stove, add my priming sugar to dilute it, add that to the bottling bucket, then rack my beer. That way the priming sugar and your beer will start mixing without you needing to stir it a whole bunch. Once your beer is in here with your priming sugar, grab your bottle, grab your bottle filler, turn on your spigot, and then push down. It'll start filling your bottle. Obviously this works for beer or wine. And the nice thing is it's designed so that you fill all the way to your uh, the top of the bottle and when you take it out, it'll leave the perfect amount of headspace for you. Then when it reaches the top, just take off your bottle. And then it stops it from leaking. Super handy. The last thing I wanna mention are carbonation drops. If you don't feel like measuring out your priming sugar, or if you're going out of, let's say, your secondary directly into a bottle, you don't really want to mix in priming sugar and stir up all the sediment, uh, you can get carbonation drops. So these are basically just hill sugar tablets. They look kind of like cough drops. And basically you take one, plunk it into your bottle. You might need more than one. It depends on the size of your bottle, but one per standard, you know, 355 ml bottle. Uh, plunk it in there, fill it up, cap it, and away you go. So that pretty much sums up some of the quick tips I have to make your bottling day a lot easier. Uh, do you have any tips? Please leave them down in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, if you need any clarification on anything I used today, feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get more content from Grain to Glass.